Our hero today can rightfully be called the most expensive airplane in the world because its price goes up to billions of dollars, and that's just for one machine. We're talking about the unique American stealth bomber B-2, which was able to attract the attention of perhaps everyone who's even slightly interested in aviation. Let's find out together how this model was developed and what did America end up getting for such a fabulous amount of money. This is Military News. Let's go. Northrop B-2, or Spirit, is a heavy subsonic strategic bomber designed to break through the air defense of the enemy. The history of its creation began in 1979 with the launch of the Advanced Technology Bomber ATB program, which involved two teams, Northrop Boeing and Lockheed Rockwell. A year later, the government selected the first team as the winner and awarded them a contract. Then, over nearly 10 years, improvements were made, which it should be noted cost the U.S. a pretty penny. By 1986, a total of $23 billion had been spent on this project. Speaking of price, over the years, it's only grown, and at a breakneck pace. Today, the entire program is estimated at $45 billion, and the cost of a single B-2 reaches $2 billion. Yes, yes, it's clear now why out of 132 conceived, only 21 aircraft rolled off the assembly lines. By the way, each bomber in this series is symbolically named after a state in the country. The presentation of the aircraft took place in 1989 at the U.S. Air Force plant in Palmdale, California, where it was assembled. Moving on to the description of our hero, it has a very unusual appearance, flat and sliding, without the usual fuselage and tail fins. However, all this fantastic design is just the aerodynamic scheme flying wing. Thanks to this scheme, the entire mass is evenly distributed along the wingspan, and the bending moment of the supporting structures is several times less than that of a conventional airplane. By the way, for Northrop, this is not the first fighter designed according to this scheme. I'm referring to the old YB-49, which most likely became the prototype of our hero. This unusual boomerang-like flying machine turned out to be rather wide, with a length of almost 21 meters and a wingspan of 52 meters. The glider was covered with a special radio-absorbing coating consisting of composite materials based on carbon and graphite. In the forward part of the center wing is placed a two-man crew cabin. By comparison, the B-1B cabin consisted of four people. The pilot's comfort was also considered as there was a galley, a bunk, and a toilet. The B-2 was equipped with the most powerful avionics. The avionics, airborne avionics, include ANAPQ-181 radar by Hughes Aircraft capable of operating in 21 modes. The radar's capabilities allow it to memorize the position of detected ground targets, which can be compared with stored target images. In addition to the radar, we have the FLIR-IR surveillance system, radar reconnaissance equipment, inertial navigation system, Milstar communications equipment, ZSR-62 electronic warfare system, TACAN navigation system, and various sensors that signal changes in the situation overboard. Four General Electric F-118 G100 turbojet engines provide a speed of 1,010 kilometers an hour, a cruising range of 111,000 kilometers, and a practical ceiling of 15,240 meters. They're located deep inside the hull. The air to each pair is brought in through S-shaped ducts. Part of the air does not go into the engines, but is used to cool the exhaust and thereby reduce the heat signature. Fuel tanks are located in the wings and center plane. Interestingly, following the new engine, had to develop a new fuel, JP-8 kerosene. I can't help but mention a clear achievement of the Spirit, namely one of the longest flights in the world. During Operation Enduring Freedom against Afghanistan, it was able to fly 44 hours and 20 minutes continuously over a distance of 35,000 kilometers and make six in-air refuelings. It's also worth mentioning the maximum duration of the flight of the B-2 without refueling, which is about 35 hours. I would like to point out that the U.S. Air Force's desire to extend the range of the Spirit is quite reasonable. The fact is that long-duration flights of strategic bombers are of great importance to real warfare. In addition, such costly and strategically important machines should be located at airfields as far away from the front line as possible, which are more difficult for the enemy to attack. Thus, virtually all of the B-2s that entered the war effort took off from inland. Plus, the long duration of flights also contributed to the flexibility of route planning. 
The aircraft could hit the target from several directions, increasing maneuverability and surprise strikes. The B-2 is armed with 16 B-6111 hydrogen bombs or B-83 thermonuclear free-fall bombs, CBU-87, CBU-89 Gator cluster bombs, MK-82 or MK-84 bombs, AGM-154 JSAO or JDAM guided AGMs based on GPS technology, converting free-fall rounds to all-weather corrected ones, and of course cruise missiles, AGM-158 JASM. The total weight of all projectiles of the bomber is 27 tons. In addition, they wanted to equip the Spirit with a super missile AGM-129 with a thermonuclear warhead, but this idea could not be implemented because the only carrier of this ammunition remains the B-52. The B-2 is in service with the USA for more than 20 years and has decent combat experience. It first saw the sky in 1999 during the NATO operation in Yugoslavia. The plane took off from U.S. Whiteman Air Force Base and flew to Kosovo and back. During Operation Allied Force, the bomber destroyed 33% of all Serbian targets using more than 600 high-precision JDAM bombs. The Spirit then flew to Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya, where it also performed well. Today, 19 aircraft remain in service, based at Whiteman Air Force Base, Missouri. Here, for the maintenance of these machines, built a whole infrastructure with separate hangars for each B-2 with air conditioning and fire suppression. An interesting fact is that the famous 509th Bombing Wing, which dropped some atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki on August 6th and 9th, is stationed here. And yes, there were originally more planes, but one of them, called the Spirit of Kansas, crashed in 2008. In addition, there are rumors of several more of these models, which crashed in Yugoslavia, but officially these versions have not been confirmed. As a result, the U.S. Air Force, for more than 20 years to create an incredibly complex and expensive project, the combat power of which was to be equal to 10 planes of another type. Everything turned out somewhat differently. The Perspective B-2 was suitable for many military operations, but only after the destruction of enemy air defense by other aircraft, which automatically equated it to other machines of the fourth generation. Except that their maintenance and an hour of flight time were cheaper for the U.S. government and to send this almost a gold Northrop project on operations where the collision with the enemy's air defense is minimal. It seems unreasonable. After all, similar tasks can handle and ordinary F-16s. It turns out that so far for the modern spirit simply has not found a worthy opponent. Or is this after all a story about what not to do? Leave your opinion in the comments, write about which plane you'd like to learn more about, and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.